Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve a problem on moment of inertia. Uh, already told in the introduction part what is moment of inertia and all those things. So let's start the problem. This is a composite section. Already told you that uh, the moment of inertia basically question comes from this composite section. So we will solve this problem. So what is the question? The question is that find the moment of inertia of the section about the centroidal axis. Which axis? Centroidal x-axis axis. So uh, we know that moment of inertia we have to find out. Then which section? This is I section. This is a composite I section. So we have to solve this composite I section. Then uh, about which axis it is asking? It is asking about the x-axis, centroidal x-axis. The most important thing is centroidal x-axis. What is centroidal x-axis will be for uh, for this problem? The centroidal x-axis will be the centroidal axis or centered centroidal axis of the whole composite section whole composite section means we have to calculate the centered axis in x direction of the i section so as already i told you we have to calculate centroid then we have to go for moment of inertia so centroid and moment of inertia we are related to each other so for solving moment of inertia problem we have to be thorough with centroid so if you I uh, did not watch the uh, videos of um, uh, centroid so go through those videos then we can easily solve this problem okay so first of all we will start with uh, calculating the centroid just uh, see the dimensions here sometimes as i told you it will uh, give the dimension of the flange part this is a flange this one is flange part two flange parts are there and one is wave part so it will give the dimension of the flange part and wave part and it will uh, tell you that this is a i section so according to that we have to draw the composite section or i section okay so uh, just pause the video and uh, draw the problem this is 200 this is 20 this is 20 this is 100 this is 20 and this is 100 so what i have to do is that i have to draw the reference axis because i have to first calculate the centroid so the reference axis will be in the leftmost part this is leftmost this is the bottom most so i have this the red lines are reference line or reference axis okay then what we have to check the symmetric of the section you can see here you can see here the one symmetric axis already done in the y direction so this is a the section is symmetric about which axis the section is symmetric about y axis okay so if the section is symmetric about y axis what we have to calculate we have to calculate y bar because x bar can all, all easily calculated from this because this is 200 we can divide it by 2 so x bar will be what 100 so simple so we have to go for y bar so for that we have to calculate the center so you can see first of all we have to divide i have already named here this is a b c d this is this section is a b c d this is section one i have mentioned here a b c d e f g h i j k l i have divided into three rectangular parts or three rectangular areas again i am telling you this is a moment of inertia for area so the i have divided into three areas so the first area is this one so this is a b c d this is second area this is e f g h e f g h so this is area 2 and this is the area 3 i j k l so simple very simple one then uh, this is the blue ones is the uh, reference uh, sorry the blue one is the centroid axis for individual sections because the section is already divided into the whole sex composite section is divided into three parts this is part one this one is part one this one is part two and this one is part three or area three okay so very simple one this is three so very simple these are the central axis in the uh, particular parts or particular section okay so next what we have to calculate we have to calculate the centroid so uh, already solved this problem in, with same dimension in the centroid so directly i am putting the values here a1 200 uh, and for the section 1 area i have written here 200 cross 20 similarly x1 y1 similarly for section 2 a2 y2 section 3 a3 and y3 i have mentioned here so if if you don't remember that uh, then go through that video i will give in in the description part you can easily 
go through that video from center okay then i have calculated the y bar y bar will be what is the section is of three parts the whole composite section of three parts so i a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 okay so y bar will be coming around 55 okay next we have y bar we have already what what we have already x bar because uh, it is 200 divided by 2 because the higher length is 200 so 200 divided by 2 so 100 and y bar is coming around 55 so very simple this is x bar this is y bar so this is x bar comma y bar equals to what 100 100 comma 55 okay very simple next thing is what you have to go for the moment of inertia for that we have three individual section this one one two three so first of all i will be calculating the moment of inertia of section one already i told you them how to calculate the moment of inertia of a rectangular section this is a rectangle section the length or uh, what you can say this is uh, denoted by b the height is denoted uh, the height uh, height or width is denoted by h and this is uh, the red ones are the centroidal axis okay what is centroidal axis of a rectangular section this is h so this will be h by 2 h by 2 this is whole this one is b so this will be what this will be b by 2 very simple because the formula is based on the centroidal axis what is ixx ixx is the moment of inertia in x direction about the centroidal axis of this rectangular section okay what is the formula base into height q by 12 already told you in the introduction bhq by 12 and iyy will be hbq by 12 again i am telling ixx lekhichi a rectangular section to centroid respect to moment of inertia x direction re how it is iyy lekhichi eta jo iyy lekhichi eta hala jo centroid ka respect calculation karuchi a centroidal axis y direction okay so eta hala formula hala hbq by 12 very simple next one calculate kari next next is thing next thing is that i will calculating the moment of inertia of each part so the point of part one draw only part one run account till our section one run account till abcd so abcd draw only abcd length till 20 or height or width till uh, sorry length till 200 or height or width till or width till 20 so the point b l 200 h l 20 the height is uh, 20 so this will be 220 next i will be putting that formula and to create the uh, values next thing is what this is section 2 this, so this one is section 2 the vertical part or web part this one is the web part okay so section 2 width is what 20 this one is 20 then height is what this one is 100 is 100 okay we can uh, if you have drawn the figure in your copy then you can easily see then this is this is the section name is what e f g h okay the section name is what efgh so you can easily see then the part 3 or the top flange or the top flange you can name it as also top flange okay that one first part is this one is this one is the bottom flange and the second one is the wave and this one is the top flange okay the dimension already given 120 so this is okay next what i have calculated the uh, notation you remember this is i x x 1 what is i x x 1 uh, i x x 1 hella moment of inertia for first section moment of inertia first section row about the centroidal axis of the first section ka respect re mo edi jo draw karthili kon draw karthili edi jo mo axis draw karthili e je dekhu jo blue line draw karichi r respect re moment of inertia kete to seida raila moro to calculate kali individual section the moment of inertia kete nija centroidal axis respect re. okay so the pain bhq by 12 ix 6 2 kera value uh, what will be ix 6 2 same bhq by 12 because i am calculating in x direction okay so very simple why i am calculating in x direction only because question is asked on x axis so basically this is the formula and i have calculated the value you can al also check that uh, values also uh, putting in your calculator or something it will get like this so you can check this 
I have calculated the moment of inertia in x, x direction for all three section I x x one. It all moment of inertia of first section, first section the moment of inertia about first section rahi centered axis respected. Same thing I x x two all moment of inertia of second section. It is one two three jo lekhuji. It is one two three lekhuji. It all section number. Okay. तो यहाँ सेक्शन नंबर रेस्पेक्टेड मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया निज सेक्शन रेंट्रल एक्सीज रेस्पेक्ट ओके नेक्स्ट बिकज आई हाव टू कालकुलेट अबाउट द सेंट्रल एक्सीज कौन पर मुझे कालकुलेट करी सेंट्रल एक्सीज मुमेंट अफ इनर्शिया क्या रेस्पेक्ट रे? होल सेक्शन रेंट्रल एक्सीज रेस्पेक्ट से मत कौन पुट कर पड़ा पारल एक्सीज थीरम मुझे कही सारी इंट्रोडक्शन भिड देखीद से अलरे कही पारल एक्सीज थीरम कौन पुट कर पड़ो आई फर्मूला है आई एक्स एक्स प्लस ए इंटू डी स्क्वयर एला एरिया अफ द पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन एंड डी है डिस्टेन्स ऑलरेडी मो ऑलरेडी आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट दिस फॉर्मूला इन पैरल एक्सिस थे यू कैन गो टू द प्रीवियस वीडियो मींस इंट्रोडक्शन वीडियो टू गो थ्रू द गो थ्रू द फॉर्मूला आई गिवेन यू एंड ट्रिक आल्सो आई विल बी पुटिंग दिस ट्रिक ऑन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम आल्सो ओके सो एज यू कैन सी दिस द होल सेक्शन इज डिवाइडेड इंटू थ्री इक्वल सेक्शन एंड वन टू थ्री सो दिस द डिस्टेंस आई हैव क्लियरली मैंसन हियर For uh, one, I have mentioned here I one. What is I one? This is the distance from the reference axis to the centroidal axis of this section. So this, the distance between these to this, this is Y one. Okay. Similarly, this is the centroidal axis of the section two. So wh what is Y two? Y two is the distance from the reference axis because the reference axis is this one. This is the reference axis. This is the reference axis. So, a, a reference as, uh, axis respectively. I am a centered corner of section two. Row, the distance is like this. So, the point is like y two. Compare. I am add current. The car distance add current. The reference axis to distance. Similarly, I am to y three. Let's see. Y three corner of reference axis to centered L uh, centered axis of section three row distance. Let's see. Section three. तो ये सेक्शन थ्री हाइट जो मन थी लेखा क्वेश्चन दिया दिखाई ट्वेंटी तो ये ट्वेंटी बै टू है टेन टेन कौन निज सेंट्रोइड निज सेक्शन कि वाई थ्री मान कौन मान सेंट्रोइडल एक्सीस क्या रेस्पेक्ट कालकुलेसन करेफरेन्स एक्सीस रेस्पेक्ट सो रेफरेन्स एक्सीस रेस्पेक्ट कालकुलेसन कले जेहतु आम वाई रिस्टेन्स कालकुलेसन करो एक्सीस रू मेजर करवा एक्स एक्सीस रो यहाँ है एक्स एक्सीस से एक्स एक्सीस रू मेजर कर वाई वन यहाँ वाई टू वाई टू थ्री रिस्टेन्स है वाई थ्री वन टू थ्री कम पाई सेक्शन नंबर है वन टू थ्री ओके नेक्स्ट कौन नेक्स्ट दरकार आमको कौन फर्मूल आई एक्सी दरकार आई एक्सी मान कौन सेंट मोमेंट अफ इनर्सी अबाउट एक्स एक्सीस मीनस इन एक्स एक्सीस अबाउट द सेंट्रोडल एक्सीस अफ द होल सेक्शन आई एक्स मान एक्स है डायरेक्शन एक्स डायरेक्शन सी मान कौन सी है सेंट्रोडल एक्सीस रेस्पेक्ट को सेंट्रोडल एक्सीस फुल सेक्शन रेन्ट्रोडल एक्सीस मान एक्स बार और वाई बार रेस्पेक्ट है तो यहाँ मुझे लिखी वन मान कौन से सेक्शन वन तो फर्मूला कौन फर्मूला ये सेम फर्मूला ये मुझे यूज कर आई ए इक्वाल्स टू आई एक्स एक्स आई एक्स एक्स प्लस ए इंटू डी स्क्वयर तो सेम फर्मूला आई एक्स एक्स वन प्लस ए वन कम सेक्शन वन डी वा स्क्वयर मुझे अलरेडी इंट्रोडक्शन में कही सारी सिंपल हम कौन तुम ये जो मेथडटा यूज कर वाई सी माइनस वाई वा गोटे पुट कली वाई सी रैल्यू अलरे कालकुलेसन हो सारी फिफ्टी फाइव वाई वा अलरे कालकुलेसन कर सारी सेंट्रोइड तो से डायरेक्ट मुझ फर्मूला ये जो कालकुलेट कर आई एक्स एक्स वन एरिया वन रेक्ट ये पुट कली गोटे सिंपल ये देखा चाहिए ये टू ये डिस्टास् मुझे के कहली जो जो डिस्टेंस ये जो डिस्टास्क ये या डिस्टेंस के वाई वन और टोटल ये रहा डिस्टेंस के जो ब्लू लाइन देखु जो ब्लू लाइन द ब्लू लाइन यू आर सोईंग हियर दिस इज द द सेंट्रल एक्सीस ऑफ द होल सेक्शन मींस दिस इज एक्स बार एंड दिस वन इज वाई बार ओके सो सिंपल मन रखापी एटा है वाई बार और यहाँ है एक्स बार तो से यहाँ सेंट्रोडाल एक्स एक्सीस तो मतलब डिस्टेंस दरकार क्या रेस्पेक्ट कालकुलेसन कर सेंट्रोडाल एक्सीस अफ द होल सेक्शन आई एम कालकुलेटिंग ओथ रेस्पेक्ट टू सेंट्रोडाल एक्सीस अफ द होल सेक्शन ओके से मतलब डिस्टेंस दरकार ये सेंट्रोडाल एक्सीस तो यहाँ वाई वा यहाँ वाई वा तो मत ये डिस्टेन्स दरकार हे तो ये डिस्टेन्स के वाई सी माइनस जो डिस्टेन्सटा के